let's study about the last topic of this module super node analysis if we have a voltage source common to two nodes then we can apply super node analysis to solve this type of problem we have to mark the nodes first that is here we have three nodes node 1 2 and 3 node 3 is ground node with voltage is equal to 0 next let us mark the currents at the node so all the currents are marked as outgoing currents and at node 1 we already have I1 as incoming current and I3 has to be marked by us as outgoing current. Avoid assigning any current to the branch with voltage source. So similarly at node 2 mark the outgoing current I4 and also I2 is marked as incoming current that is given in the question. In super node analysis we write the combined KCL equation of both the nodes having common voltage source. So here we will combine node 1 and node 2 and we can write the KCL equation as I1 minus I3 minus I4 plus I2 is equal to 0. So we can rearrange this to get equation 1. Next, we shall write the equation of that of the branch which contains the common voltage source. So here, V1 plus V minus V2 is equal to 0. Rearrange this and we will get V1 minus V2 is equal to minus V. So using these two equations, we can solve for the voltages V1 and V2. Next, let us see an example problem. Determine the current in 5 ohm resistor for the circuit. So first, mark the nodes. We have the nodes 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 is the ground node with voltage is equal to 0. At node 1, mark the outgoing currents that is I1 and I2. 10 ampere is already given as the incoming current. So let's write the equation for node 1 by KCL. I1 plus I2 is equal to 10. So I1 can be written as V1 by 3 ohm and I2 can be written like V1 minus V2 by 2 ohm. So rearrange this equation and we will get equation 1. Since there is a voltage source common to both node 2 and node 3 it is a super node and we have to write the KCL equation of node 2 and node 3 combined. So the equation would be I2 minus I3 minus I4 minus I5. So I2 is V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance 2 ohm minus I3 is V2 minus V4 which is equal to 0 so it would, it would be just V2 divided by 1 ohm minus I4 is V3 minus 10 divided by 5 ohm and last one I5 is V3 divided by 2 ohm. So again rearrange to get equation number 2. Next, we have to write the equation for the branch between 2 and 3. So for that, consider this branch. So it is V2 minus 20 minus V3 is equal to 0. So this is our equation and rearrange that to get equation 3. Now you can solve this equation using calculator or using Cramer's rule and we will get the values of V1, V2 and V3. In order to get the current through the 5 ohm resistor, it is V3 minus 10 divided by 5 ohm. It is nothing but current I4. So substitute the values that we got and then we will get the answer as minus 3.68 ampere. 